Well, you have probably used app, the app Zoom at some point. Uh, maybe it's for a business call. I know I use it every day for work. Maybe it's to connect with friends. Well, one hospital in our area is now using the app to help connect families to their babies for the very first time. Here's On Your Side's Kaylee Tracy to explain how they're using Zoom. COVID-19 may force us to be physically distant, but thanks to a technology in a NICU on the first coast, families can be closer to their babies and meet them through this iPad screen. I think the most exciting um, situations that we've seen are when siblings get to meet their newest member of their family. Um, they are so excited to be able to see and hear them. It's better than pictures and it's um, very safe and secure. Meeting the newest member of their families through an iPad screen, now normal at Wolfson Children's Hospital's neonatal intensive care unit. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, only the baby's two legal guardians are allowed in person. They just loved the ability to use the technology um, on a rolling iPad at the bedside in the NICU. But thanks to a couple of iPads and the Zoom app, parents can introduce their newest family member to family who can't be there. It's great for siblings to be able to see all of the facial features and be able to see all their fingers and toes. A $10,000 grant from Pampers allows the staff to buy more iPads for its close to 60 bed NICU. We have a very large NICU at um, Wolfson Children's Hospital and um, two iPads were just not enough for us to maintain that level of connectivity for our family. Pampers picked Wolfson and 14 other hospitals out of close to 400 applicants across the United States and Canada. Jennifer Southall, the perinatal nursing director of Wolfson, says they'll use the grant to buy more iPads and invest in other technologies that connect families to their babies. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side.